Hey, so now it's our turn to take up the solution for the next question that is question number 26. So here you can see the first part of first choice of question number 26 on the board which says in a series LCR circuit connected across an AC source of variable frequency obtain the expression for its impedance and draw a plot showing its variation with the frequency of the AC source. Let's have a look on to the solution for this part of the question. So in the case of series combination of resistance, inductor and capacitance, what is going to happen? Same current is going to flow through all the components. So how you are going to calculate the voltage drop across resistance? That will be the product of the current flowing through the resistor and its resistance. How you are going to calculate the voltage drop across inductor that will be the product of the current and the reactance of the inductor. Similarly across the capacitor you can calculate the voltage by multiplying the current and the reactance of the capacitor. So here voltage across resistance is in phase with current in the case of series LCR circuit while in the case of inductor voltage leads current by a factor pi by 2 and voltage across capacitor lags current by a factor of pi by 2. So there is a phase difference between the voltage and the current in the case of inductor and capacitor in the case of inductor voltage leads the current by the factor of pi by 2 and in the case of capacitor voltage lags behind by the factor pi by 2. So from this you can draw this phasor diagram and from this phasor diagram you can calculate the impedance of this triangle and that comes out to be z is equal to square root of r square plus xl minus xc whole square where xl is the reactance of inductor and Xc is the reactance of capacitor okay now what is Xl that is a product of omega that is the frequency into the inductance and what is this Xc this is 1 upon omega C where omega is the frequency and C is the capacitance of the capacitor okay so how we can plot the variation of this impedance with the applied frequency of the AC source. So you can see this variation. Now here at F0 you can see this impedance is going to be minimum and that will be equal to the resistance of the circuit. Okay. So you can also mention that this F0 is called the resonance frequency and at this frequency the impedance will be minimum and equal to the resistance in the circuit. Now as I have told you that this part of the question was for 2 marks so you will be getting half mark for writing all this that how the voltage drop is you can calculate across the resistor, inductor and capacitor and what is going to be the phase difference between the voltage and the current in all these 3 components so you will be getting half mark for this you will be getting half mark for this phasor diagram then you will be getting half mark for calculating this impedance of the circuit and finally you will be getting half mark for drawing this variation of impedance with the frequency of the applied AC source. I hope this marking scheme for this part of the question is quite clear to you. Now let's move on to the part B of the same choice of question. So here we have the part B of question number 26 which says what is the phase difference between the voltage across inductor and capacitor at resonance in LCR circuit. So the phase difference is of pi. So you need to write here just in one line that the phase difference between the voltage across inductor and capacitor is pi in series LCR circuit and for writing this you are going to get complete one mark for this part of the question as this first for one mark. Moving on to the next part which is part C 
for first choice of question number 26. This says when an inductor is connected to a 200 volt DC voltage, a current of 1 ampere flows through it. When the same inductor is connected to a 200 volt 50 hertz AC source, only 0.5 ampere current flows. We need to explain the reason that why this is happening and also need to calculate the self inductance of the inductor. Let us have a look on to the solution for this part of the question. Now, what is the reason why only 0.5 ampere of current flows through the inductor when it is connected to the AC source? So, the reason is a real inductor has some resistance and because of that resistance, the current drops from 1 ampere to 0.5 ampere when we change the source from DC to AC. So, now here you can see, now as I have told you that a real inductor is going to have some resistance and this is the reason why we are experiencing this change in the current when we are changing the source from DC to AC. In the case when it is connected to the DC source, its inductive reactance will be 0 and its impedance will simply be equal to its resistance. Okay. So, here the current that is flowing through the inductor in the case when it is connected to the DC source is 1 ampere that is given to us in the equation and the voltage of the DC source is 200 volt and by using this we have calculated the resistance of this inductor to be 200 ohm. Now, when it is connected to the AC source now its inductance it also gonna play the role ok. So, in this case the impedance is going to change. Now, you can calculate the impedance by using the new current that is flowing through it which is 0.5 ampere and the voltage of the AC source is 200 volt. So, now this Z becomes 400 ohm and in this case what is going to be the impedance that will be the square root of the sum of the squares of R and XL. So, from this you can calculate the value of XL which comes out to be 200 root 3 ohm. Now, what is this XL? This is the product of the frequency and the inductance of the inductor. So, from this we can calculate the inductance by using the formula. What is going to be this omega? That will be equal to 2 pi f where f is the frequency. Frequency of the AC source is given to us as 50 hertz. So, inductance comes out to be 2 root 3 by pi and Henry is the unit of inductance. So, I hope this question is very clear to you. This question or this part of the question was for 2 marks. So, you will be getting half mark for writing the reason which is a real inductor has some resistance and this is the reason why the flow of current becomes less as soon as you will connect the same inductor to the AC source. You will get half mark for calculating the resistance when it is connected to the DC source. You will get half mark for calculating this impedance in the case when it is connected to the AC source and you will get final half mark for calculating the inductance of the inductor. So, this is how you are going to get 2 marks for this part of the question and 5 out of 5 mark for this choice of question of question number 26. I hope this question is quite clear to you. Now, let us discuss the next choice of the same question. So, here we have this first part of the second choice of question number 26 which says draw the diagram of a device which is used to decrease a high AC voltage into a low AC voltage and state its working principle. We also need to write four sources of energy loss in this device and this part of the question is for three marks. So, here we know that this device is going to be a step down transformer. So, this device this question is talking about is the step down transformer. You also need to mention the principle on which it works. So, it works on the principle of mutual induction 
and you need to draw this label diagram of the step down transformer and this is how you are going to get the marks for this part of the question. Now you also need to mention the losses. So you need to mention the four losses. So the flux linkage loss will be there, copper loss in primary and the secondary windings will be there, eddy current loss in the core will be there and hysteresis loss in the core will be there. So these are going to be the four losses that you need to mention in the question. So you will be getting one mark for identifying the device as well as writing the principle on which it is based. You will get one mark for drawing this diagram of the step down transformer and you will be getting the one mark for writing these losses that you were asked to write in this part of the question. Now let's move on to the next part of the question that's part B. This says a small town with a demand of 1200 kilowatt of electric power at 220 volt is situated 20 kilometer away from an electric plant generating power at 440 volt. Further the question says the resistance of the two wire lines which are carrying power is 0.5 ohm per kilometer. The town gets the power from the line through a 4220 volt step down transformer at a substation in the town. Estimate the line power loss in the form of heat. So the step down transformer that they are using it is having the input voltage as 4000 volt and the output voltage is 220 volt. Let's have a look on to the solution for this question. So in this question, what is the total electric power that is required? This is given to us in the question and the total electric power is 1200 kilowatt which means 1200 into 10 to the power 3 watt. Supply voltage is 220 volt. Voltage at which the electrical plant is generating power is 440 volt. Now the distance between the town and the power station is also given to us as 20 kilometer. Now to calculate the resistance of the two wire lines which are carrying the power is given to us as 0.5 ohm per kilometer and we are using two wires as per the question. So the total resistance will be 20 plus 20 multiplied by 0.5. And that gives you the total resistance of the wires to be 20 ohm. Now step down transformer rating is 4220 volt. So what is the input voltage? That is 4000. I have already told you output voltage is 220. RMS current in the wire lines you can calculate by using this input voltage. So I will be equal to power divided by the input voltage. So when you will do the job of calculating this current comes out to be 300 ampere. Now we need to calculate in the question the line power loss which is I square R. So we have calculated I, we have calculated R also. When you will substitute the values it comes out to be 1800 kilowatt. So line power loss in the form of heat is this much that is 1800 kilowatt. So you will be getting one mark if you solve this question till this point that is you have successfully calculated the total resistance of the wire and then you will get another one mark when you will solve this question till here and calculate the final power loss in the line in the form of heat. So I hope this marking scheme of this question is very clear to you. So this is how you are going to score 5 out of 5 for this choice of question number 26. Now let's move on to our discussion of the last question of set 3 of the paper that's question number 27.